Okay, hi everybody. Uh, today we're going to work on this um, brushless uh, e-bike brushless motor controller. It's like a 60 volt unit here. I already took this circuit out of here and I'm going to set the box aside. It's just an aluminum chassis that this is this is kept in. This, it provides heat sinking for these um, MOSFETs. So I'm going to set this aside. What we're going to do today, we're going to shunt mod this device and what that is, <clears throat> these two shunts right here is all you need to do. You have to uh, pin them together, uh, solder them, and that will help bring more amperage uh, when you're using the throttle or like going up hills or anything like that. It'll give you more amperage to your motor. So what I'm going to do to, um, I already started some of the soldering here. I did it part of the way here. And what I did, I took some bare wire like this. And I just took one strand of it and I wrapped it around there so I can have something to to uh, solder to. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to take one strand, see like one strand of uh, copper wire, and I'm just going to thread it around this this these these shots here to make them one as one. So we're just going to thread it in there and just uh, wrap it around there so we have something to solder to. So uh, hopefully you can see this what I'm going to do try to keep my fingers out the way uh, also on on um, on these boards you will see that you have um, capacitors and the capacitors hold energy and I'm going to show you which one is the capacitor in a minute so I get this threaded out there um, let's tighten it as we go these that these two cans here are capacitors and they can hold like whatever the voltage rating on it so like these are rated at 63 volts so they can actually store 63 volts of charge and those that can discharge into your finger if you was to cross your hand on the terminal you which you don't want to be doing I'm trying to reach in there with these tweezers and grab this thing it's almost like threading something together you know how you sew something together so this is what this is doing that's what I'm trying to do I'm just trying to combine these two these two shunts as one and then using this copper as a platform to solder the two together so that's all I'm doing that's why I'm using this wire I could have bent them with some pliers together but it's a chance of cracking the board the circuit board itself and I didn't want to do that so I'm just gonna just take my time be patient and just solder this on you know so give me a second here keep it going it don't take many I won't have to run too many strands of this uh, loops of this on here but I want a sufficient amount uh, right now it's kind of hard to grab a hold of even with these specialized tweezers there we go got it now I'm just going to spread this out a little bit so the wires will kind of lay on top of this these two shunts back to back like that and I'm just going to tie these together the excess off I don't need all that too much wire I just wanted enough to make a, a small bed where I can solder let me put my solder power on again crank it up uh, uh -oh. yeah let's see here I gotta get the uh, solder gun warmed up again so I'm gonna do that and that's what's taking place right now but meanwhile while we're doing it I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, flux. Flux is just this pasty stuff that helps solder to flow better and to transfer heat from the from the solder gun to the to the metal. So that's just what I just added on there just now. So um, let me see, is my solder gun ready? I think it is. So I'm gonna grab up some solder. And all we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to just solder a bit of solder to cover these two prongs. And that's essentially all I want to do. So let me see if I can get in there and do that and make that happen. Uh, first, I'm going to heat the bed of the prongs up first. And then I'm going to add the solder in there where it's at. And hopefully it, it uh, combines and flows on there really good. All right, so we just let that sit for a moment. Yeah, I didn't want to bend these on together, which I could have done. And it would have been a lot faster, but it's a big chance you can crack the circuit board. And then if you crack the circuit board, you can probably crack a trace, make a break one of the traces, which you don't want to do with this type of thing. You don't want to break a trace. 
So I'm just gonna get this in there. And what this, what this, what this is gonna do with this, especially with the copper wire on there, it's gonna change the characteristics of this shunt. Um, I'm not sure of the material this shunt is made out of, but it's not ordinary metal. Um, it kind of like um, absorbs current. If you know it lets current pass through it slowly, you might say. Um, use a lot of solder here. I'm trying to get it, <laughs> get it flowing here. And I just gotta stick with it. Put a good amount across. Okay, that's pretty well covered right there. I got it pretty well laid, layered on there. Pretty much. I don't want to. I don't want to cover it all the way down to the board again because I don't want this shunt to. to detach itself from the board. So I'm just gonna just leave it like this. I got over 80% of it covered with solder. And that's plenty enough. That's gonna be enough uh, to allow more current to come through uh, without any problem. And like I said, these this particular fix is for, you know, it'll help you if your e-bike uh, has sometimes tendencies to slow down when you're going up hills or when you, when you um, need to get out of the way of something and you hit the throttle really hard it seems to like lag or something like that well this will help stop that lag from happening it will give you the juice right to the motor right away okay so that's essentially it um, all it's got to do is cool off once that cool off I can stick it back into the case so all we did is took the shunt and just um, pinned it you know soldered them together so they will uh, so the more more current will flow um, to these uh, MOSFETs Okay, everybody, I hope that was a very informative um, uh, tutorial for you on how to shunt mod your e-bike controller. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, just be careful not to touch the capacitors inside with your bare hands. And just like I showed you, you can solder those those two wire pieces together or you can um, uh, bend them together. But it's just, just to protect your circuit board, try not to be bending anything too much on, on, on that board because you can easily crack it. And now really that's all I really have for you today. So uh, all in all, have a good night. Bye.